Hi Pisces. Welcome to your love reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright, but definitely there's someone around here who's wanting to think about a partnership with you, wanting to work with you. But yeah, this could be a little frustrating, okay? You could be lacking patience, but try, try and get some patience, okay? Try and wait for this. It'll be good, whatever the outcome will be. Maybe this was a break that was needed in your relationship, okay? Maybe you had a lot of red flags in the relationship and you kept going forward, kept moving forward without giving it a break or wanting this pause. So now there's like this forced break, you know, for you Pisces. Five of Wands. Hmm. <coughs> Say five, ten. There could be some issues between you guys, okay? Like a lot of fights, bickering, you guys not on the same page, you know, pettiness, arguments, or there could just be a lot of people around you. But yeah, that's like a lot of conflict. Not very serious, but yeah, just constant fighting and stuff like that. Knight of Cups. There is someone here who's definitely wanting to come in and express themselves, you know, Who's wanting to be emotionally vulnerable? You could be dealing with someone who is absolutely commitment phobe or someone who is just not wanting to be vulnerable towards you. Um, maybe someone who's offering you scraps, you know, and not offering you the real deal. But now they definitely have something to offer you and they're coming towards you with a love offer or an apology after this period of break or after this period of uh, fights. Whoever this is, this is someone watching you, spying, watching, looking at you from a distance. They're thinking of what to say to you. They definitely have something to say, but they want to do their research before they make their move towards you. Getting more of an apology after uh, something that ended badly here, okay? That's the Ten of Swords here. Something ended badly. You could have felt very backstabbed and betrayed by this person. But yeah, this person, I think, with a Five of Wands, yeah, I think this person is now after a break, after that period of... Um, going through that analysis <coughs> I'm, fe I'm feeling this person is enlightened to a fact and they're ready to fight for you maybe there were too many people between you guys but yeah this person is ready to come in offer you love and they're ready to fight for this relationship but i think there's an element of feeling cheated betrayed by this person okay with the ten of swords here <coughs> you're exhausted you're exhausted by this person but they're coming in to apologize. I see the Knight of Cups here as an apology more than a love offer. They're probably sorry about the way things ended. <coughs> Two of Cups. You have a relationship coming in, Pisces. They love you. You love them. You guys are on the same page. They're wanting to be on the same page, at least with the Five of Wands here. This is like, I'm going to fight for what I want. Yeah. Whatever has caused this betrayal, right? They're wanting to put an end to this bullshit so that you guys can come together again in union. They want a union with you. Two of Cups, that's a very divine connection. A soulmate connection. Yeah, you guys are on the same page, you know? Equality, unity, balance. It's very blessed. It's a very blessed connection. Wow, they're ready to offer you something solid, something committed, something very stable. That's commitment with Ace of Pentacles. Not like the Ten of Pentacles, but this is a small seed, a gift from the universe that has been presented to you. But it's going to take a lot of effort, a lot of hard work, a lot of determination, dedication from both your sides in order for this to grow. It's like a seed, okay? You're planting a seed of commitment, of, of marriage, of something stable. So it's going to take a lot of effort from your side. It's literally like an opportunity that's been given to you. Yeah. And it's like what you do with it is what's going to make out of it. <sighs> this person wants a reconciliation. And they're ready to do it the right way this time. You may have felt very cheated by this person, okay? But I feel the love is still intact. Yeah, maybe they're learning to give and share this time. They're learning to 
um, understand and nurture your needs this time, okay? Could be dealing with someone who's very hot and cold in and out of your life, all right? Like a player-like tendency, but more like emotionally manipulative because this person is not the best as at Im at expressing themselves but this person definitely wants a reconciliation i guess you guys are going to reconcile here because the cards look good here after that ending a period of wait was a good thing for you but yeah with the judgment here this person is finally listening to the universe the signals the signals and the synchronicities that the universe is showing them they're no more living in denial they have that wake up call and they're ready to move towards you with that stability but yeah all this happens probably after you have an ending here they see you as the queen of pentacles here okay so i'm getting an energetic difference here there could be an age difference between you guys okay because with the knight of cups and the queen of pentacles here it looks like one of you is mature here okay one of you is wanting something more committed something more tangible something which holds a lot of security a lot of stability whilst the other person here is more like a little bit of younger energy here it's not about the age but it's just an energetic difference okay this person is probably just someone who's probably like you know what like your prince in shining armor okay coming in to love you propose you you know stuff like that but again there's still more on the emotional level a little bit of immaturity you're the more on the stable level okay you've probably gone through the stage here and now what you're looking for is i mean you guys are in love but what you're looking for is um something secure okay something that that holds value which is more like into the marriage and commitment side but yeah i guess they're going to grow up they're, they're going to get there but it's going to take some time here but definitely they want another chance with you and the love is equal here okay and that's one of the reasons why you could have felt so betrayed with the ten of swords here because this person was non-committal and not wanting to offer you or not on the same page with you or not on the giving you the same emotional needs that you expect but now you're being more practical more grounded you're wanting to pull away from this situation being detached and trying to look at it in a more um a logical approach you know you're leaving your emotions on the side this time whilst this person is coming towards you with that emotional approach i'm getting more apology like let's do this again can we try this one more time is what i'm hearing but i don't know if you want to give this another chance because yeah you feel very betrayed here with the ten of swords here so see nine of wands you have trust issues your guides are your guards are up I see so your cards are up here. Maybe you've been manifesting this person with the three of wands here. You're waiting for this person to come in. They are, but your cards are up here. So, you know, Pisces, if you're manifesting someone, okay, but then your cards are going to be up, you're not going to be sure, right? How do you expect anything to manifest, right? I mean, you're still going to be waiting there with the three of wands there. Maybe you want to explore your options. Maybe you're looking the other way, okay? But I'm not getting that so much. I'm getting more like you're still in love with this person. You want this person here, but because of whatever this person did done to you in the past, you're not sure. You're probably more conflicted in your head. You have that inner conflict rather than that external conflict with this person. Of, it's like one second your heart says you want them, the second time your your head says you don't want them. So that's the inner conflict that you have, and probably that's why things are on hold. Maybe this is an opportunity for you to give this a thought. Of whether you still want this person back when they come in but they are but again nine of wands here you're very defensive you have your guards up your walls are high up and you don't trust this person you probably feel they're here to mess around with you again that's why i said i don't know if you want to give this person another the chance <coughs> it could have taken this person a, a while to realize you know to wake up from their sleep and come towards you but they are five of cups see there's this level of disappointment here this person misses you <coughs> but yeah with the five of cups and the two of swords here you're you're living in denial okay of this situation you probably feel this person hasn't changed first of all maybe you think this person hasn't changed but yeah look pisces five of cups is not the eight of cups all is not lost yes there is a disappointment there is a level of disappointment here sadness regret remorse but what you don't understand is that there are still two cups here remaining okay uh, out here there's still two cups remaining you can still pick up the pieces and build on the same relationship this connection is not completely lost yes there was some kind of betrayal but you know sometimes the ten of swords is an energy where we do this to ourselves you know the ten of swords is also someone who plays the victim right 
you're, I mean, you probably didn't know that you were dealing with someone who was just, you know, not on the same page with you and you were probably expecting too much from this person. Like I said, Queen of Pentacles, uh, she's all about the stability. Knight of Cups is all about that um, uh, romantic guy, right? The romantic uh, uh, knight who comes in, says what he wants, you know, sweeps you off your feet and leave. So, yeah, probably there, were, there are some lessons that you need to learn in that pause that you've taken with the hangman here. And some lessons that this person needed to learn. So, yeah, before you get back to this person, you need to realize that this person is still not the king here. Still the knight of cups here. Not like I'm discouraging you, but don't fall into that ten of swords energy again where you're, you know, feeling like a martyr. You feel like you're, you're the victim here. It's just not worth it. And being Pisces, being a water sign here, we tend to overthink and overanalyze the situation. Okay? And then we cook it up in our head. And then we're like living in fear, okay? And this five of cups energy, it's a very bad energy. It's a very low vibrational energy. Because if you stay in this energy for a very long time, it can lead to depression. And that could lead to a lot of inaction, okay? And that's exactly what you're doing right now with the two of swords here. You know you need to make a decision. But this is becoming a stressful decision where you're refusing to open your blindfolds. And refusing to, refusing to see the situation for what it is only because you're so covered with that sadness and disappointment you're still crying over spilt milk here whereas you should learn from learn your lessons not regret and just keep moving forward either you move forward or then you give this another chance but that in between energy is something that's just going to be like um not very um good for you Okay, the Five of Cups to me is a very in-between energy. Neither are you moving forward with the Eight of Cups, nor are you, you know, like, moving towards, um, say, the Three of Cups, like a reconciliation or a Two of Cups, although there is a potentially of the Two of Cups here. So that's what you need to do. Tell me what's the outcome for Pisces this week in love. What's the outcome for Pisces this week in love? You may need, you, you may need to let your guards down, Pisces. See, that's the energy you are in. You're in like in this like no nonsense, no bullshit. You know, you're like, you've literally given this person an ultimatum or you could have even cut this person out. You could be behaving very cold and detached towards this person. But for you, see, five of swords again, there we go. So there's like this serious conflict here, okay? This person is watching you walk away, but this person is also regretting their actions here. So this could be the five of cups because I feel that because your guards are up, this person realizes that, you know, there are chances that you wouldn't even want to give them a second chance here. But look at how the queen of swords and the five of swords, you know, how this is there, right? I mean, for you, you are absolutely sitting there on your throne, holding that sword. That sword is clarity, okay? That's all this communication. So yeah, you're probably going to expect communication. There is communication coming in, but your approach towards this communication is going to be very logical. You're not giving this, that emotional approach anymore. You're very grounded, very practical, and you're going to have a very fact-based conversation you know, with the Queen of Swords here. And with the Five of Swords here, what I feel is that there are chances that you may walk away, yeah, and sabotage this connection. Only because with the Nine of Wands here, you could be very guarded or you don't want to repeat what happened in the past here with the Ten of Swords here. But yeah, there could be, again, there could be an ego battle between you guys, yeah. Probably this person is because they're coming in with that Knight of Pentacles, okay, you probably, this person is still not ready to want to give you that stability that you want. That's what I'm picking up. And you probably are all about stability. And for you, it's like, I don't know. If I don't get to hear what I like, you're out. And I have a feeling that you're probably even walking away, cutting this person out. Because you don't want no more chances. You don't want to give this person any more chances. You're literally going to be like in that ultimatum mode, you know. Like you're fed up. You're absolutely fed up of giving this person several chances here. I mean, the judgment here, right? That's like the last call. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.